Hello and welcome on SQL Ki Patsala. Today we are going to talk about North Wind database and I am here to explain you about uh, different stuff in database and I am going to talk about database from reporting point of view. So a SQL is a very vast language uh, and different type of developer use SQL for different purpose and I as a report developer I am using SQL from last five years and I am here to explain you about report uh, reporting things SQL stuff from reporting point of view so we will talk about a stored procedure we will talk about uh, all other stuff so uh, first of all let's let me very clear I'm gonna talk about Microsoft SQL server so you can see like Microsoft SQL server is so open and I am ready without wasting your time to talk about North Wind database. So I am, you can see like here we have a lot of uh, database like Adventure Work DW 2017, Batch 2, Batch 2.1, North Wind database. So this is a database that is our concern. Other just ignore for God's sake. And this SQL Ki Patsala is also a one database that is uh, going to come handy in our coming lecture. But for now, we are going to discuss about only Northwind database. And hopefully, you guys are um, uh, aware about this uh, Northwind database. If not, then I am here to just uh, tell you about what Northwind database is. So let me uh, expand this particular thing you can see the plus symbol you can click there and uh, you can like expand it now you can see table views uh, programmability other thing is storage and all those things right now we are going to uh, click on tables and these are the tables present in our database dbo dot categories dbo dot customer customer demo dbo dot customer demographics dbo dot customer employees and all those things uh, first of all let me just uh, write first query so this is our table now you can click you can see like columns name you, you can see like this key uh, see uh, this particular key represent like it is a primary key column so category id is a primary key column and other things you can see so it's it's okay it's fine uh, and if you don't understand about these things do comment below and i will try to make videos like what is primary key what is foreign key other stuff but i am right now i'm doing as a from a practical point of view suppose you don't know primary key foreign key then it's very difficult for you to understand how we are going to do join and all those stuff before uh, covering that particular topic of join and other things i'm gonna <laughs> obviously i'm gonna take uh, some session on all those things but for now i am going to write some simple queries from one table only so that's why i am not going in depth into that but i will do some day promise and uh, i am going to write like select a star uh, from and uh, from dbo table dbo dot what dot uh, categories or okay okay uh, right now i am in batch 2 so first of all i need to go into north wind database so for that there are a number of ways of navigating from one database to another one is that you can see like this particular thing okay so from here what you can do you can select north wind database and right now i am in north wind database other thing is that uh this north wind you can see i can select this north wind from here and i can use use keyword and i can paste this north wind i can navigate to north wind database for sure uh, suppose I am in this database I want to navigate to North 
win database i can clearly do it now i can expand and then i can see that categories so one thing you can do like this okay so we are in dbo dot categories and okay so basic thing that i want to tell you in this particular thing like uh, suppose i have written a code this is execute you can press f5 f5 is gonna execute your code selected code or whatever code f5 okay remember this f5 f5 is a shortcut key short cut key to execute your code to execute your code what if you don't remember like f5 is uh, to execute your code you can use this particular things to execute and these things are doing like same thing so this is a way like a uh, different way of doing same things in programming in tools there are multiple option in which you, which you can use to do same things uh, so that's 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 one thing that i want to cover and uh, uh, this is the first session so i'm gonna tell you a very basic things like right now you can understand like uh, these are so upon uh, we will try to understand this like uh, category id is of colon name and these are rows values you can see 1 to 10 so these are row 1 row 2 row 10 these are rows values then you can understand this category category name category name is also call a name then description then this picture so these are all our columns names and values so always remember in relational database how data is gonna store so data is always going to store in a table and table what are the feature of table table is always going to have categories like you can see categories uh, like you can a table always have sorry a table always have columns and rows columns are like fixed uh, fixed um, you can say for a table uh, column number of column is fixed you know it well in advance like what a designer obviously know if you haven't designed a table uh, which is going to be in most of the cases in reporting world like you are not the person who is designing the table you are gonna use uh, a table designed by somebody else so for you it's it's always going to be very interesting to explore database and all those things and column names you know well in advance rows are like uh, it is gonna change day by day means uh, based on based on what uh, what business required so on daily basis uh, uh, rules values will keep on changing based on process business requirement and all those things i'm not saying that you cannot change colon you can change colon as well you can add colon but uh, generally in business it is not like every day you gonna find some new colon uh, it depends based on pro uh, change of processor and all those things uh, people do add few columns but uh, those are very slow process once in a sprint or in a like uh, two three months you can find change in existing column uh, that is quite okay and fine i don't want to go into all those technicalities uh, rather than i am i right now i am focused on uh, a table so so in this particular uh, table you can see like categories if a user want to see so user want to see categories and description anyway like pictures you can see like pictures have some URL you can see like picture is having some URL which is not making sense for us 
and in report also like we are not going to use uh, this kind of values from directly from database uh, so there are other mechanism of dealing with pictures and other things in reporting world uh, but yeah we we gonna uh, now now let me explain this particular stuff like uh, so you want like name and categories then how you are gonna do it this is our question uh, so uh, what are there are different ways of doing same stuff let me do it and so you like suppose I want to take some values like categories name I can do it like this categories dot categories name and other is like again categories dot description only these two values I require and I have written and boom yes so we are successful in getting only these two values and we are getting remember we are getting here all values at once but can we do same thing with little bit uh, ease yes we can do it and here is another concept uh, another keyword and another concept uh, keyword is here the keyword is uh, alias name I'm gonna introduce just I'm done now I will as and category for category I will write CT or maybe C C for categories okay and now C dot as is a keyword okay fine now category name and C dot category description is it fine is it fine now now see uh, you are a report developer and somebody want like in in database we generally don't include a space in column name but in report that is a war, real life scenario so in real life we can uh, have spaces like category and name so somebody ask you like uh, why don't you put some space between category and name so we can do this simply by using as keyword and uh, we will put like this but you see some red thing is happening so you can see like I have written something let me execute it you are getting incorrect near name and why it is and how you can correct this one is like by putting it into single quote and now hopefully it is gonna work so yes category name you can see so you can clearly see like these two uh, queries are returning the same values the only difference is uh, there is a space between category and name and other otherwise everything is fine so I have given you a two approach of writing same code but which one is best and why so I will uh, obviously I have introduced you first one that is gonna we are not going to use that one and uh, but some people still use that one and that is not wrong technically that is not wrong but yes uh, for the sake of ease we uh, if we want to write some complex queries in that cases obviously the second approach is the best one and uh, and that is the approach that I like it and I follow personally in my coding uh, journey and for my coding I obviously follow that one that's why I have introduced you and that is a little bit simple why you will go to write this categories whole and then um, using that particular uh, uh, column name and all those things instead you can use C and CT something like alias name and that is going to do your work 
and that's all guys hope you guys enjoy it and do uh, give your feedback to us so that we can improve okay thank you bye